This is very, very unnatural. Hi, this is Thomas, videographer at Career Foundry, and I caught Ed kind of off guard. Uh, I wanted to ask him what would be the most essential digital marketing tools. So we are actually going for lunch, but I thought I would just take the camera and record this video with him. See you soon. <laughs> Okay, so we've just ordered our food, so what would be the first tool that you can't live without as a marketer? Wait for the, the bus to go. <laughs> so the first two I'll give you actually are kind of fundamental. The first one is something to, to build and host and uh, manage your website. So a content management system, something like WordPress is the most famous one. Obviously there are other kind of no-code builders like Webflow, like Squarespace, like Wix. I think Webflow might be an interesting one if you're just starting off and want to launch something quickly. For a more established company, I think WordPress is a good option because you have so many different tools that are built into it to optimize uh, SEO practices, for example, lots of different plugins that are readily available. So for me, uh, WordPress is the winner there. And then once you have your website up and running uh, and you have your product pages, all those kinds of things, then you want to uh, manage your potential customers and your customers. So you need some kind of customer relationship management system like HubSpot or like MailChimp, for example, um, in order that you can send emails at scale and potentially track some user behavior and all those kinds of things. So the first two tools, two tools, uh, one WordPress uh, and the second one, let's say uh, HubSpot. Nice. How is it? Nice. Okay, so we just finished lunch, uh, fully satiated, have some very loud birds in the background. And the next tools that came to mind are all about internal communication and collaboration within the marketing team. First up, we have the Google Suite. That gives you all the basics you need for kind of content production, even data analytics. We use Google Docs a lot for things like authoring blog articles. And then the other thing is Google Sheets actually provides you with your basic reporting and to some degree data analytics as well. Then uh, Miro for workshops. I think, you know, now a lot of companies have moved remote, but it's very important to have this single space where everyone can come together and still have brainstorming sessions and more interactive workshopping sessions. So yeah, I would say if I have to give them a number, so say WordPress is number one, HubSpot's number two, Google Suite number three, and then probably four is Miro. Okay, well, these are great, but what about the tools that we would use for organization and all the projects? Basically the tools that all of the team should use, but are especially important for marketing. What would you say would be those? Next up would be the project management tool. I mean, there are lots out there, things like Jira and Asana. I think Asana lends itself quite well to project management of content creation. There are also tools like Contently that are really specifically about content creation and marketing, but I think Asana is a good option. So I'd say Asana would be the next tool for, for project management of creative campaigns and things like that. And often coupled with some kind of project management system, like you have in the Atlassian suite with Jira and Confluence, you need some kind of internal wiki, some kind of documentation tool. And probably the most popular at the moment, the one with the kind of trend behind it is, is Notion, primarily because it's UX, it's, it's usability. And there are other nice tools like Slack, for example. Um, but Notion, yeah, is, is used extremely widely and is a great tool for basically documenting all your processes, all your results, everything that you want to share with your team and your company. And even more important now that we're all working, or a lot of us are working remotely. Red squirrel over there. What? This is this David is Attenborough. Wow. Have you ever seen a squirrel like that so close? Imagine you produced all the different content, you now need a way to actually distribute it. For distribution, you need some kind of distribution platform, typically like an ad platform. And the two big ones, as everyone knows, are Meta and Google. And that's because they just reach uh, the large percentage of people online. So kind of regardless of the stage of your company, they're often a first port of call, or if it's a more B2B business, maybe you go to LinkedIn or something like that. But there's a good place where at the very least, even if it doesn't work for you, you can kind of test things like messaging, get rapid feedback. So those ad platforms are definitely up there. Whether you choose Google or Meta, uh, it doesn't really matter. And typically you'll probably be using both, especially if you're B2C. Then next up, um, I'd mention Hrefs as well, or SEMrush, which is an SEO tool. 
you use those tools in order to do keyword research and also just analyze the health of your website as well. And for us, I think Ahrefs is a, is a really strong tool where you can really get a lot of interesting data from. And then to wrap up, you probably need some kind of data visualization tool like um, Looker or uh, Tableau uh, in order that you can build robust reporting for the marketing team to reference when they're working on their campaigns. And I think that would be everything. That goes kind of full cycle all the way through from uh, literally launching your website to communicating with your leads and customers to ideation and project management all the way through to uh, creation, distribution, and finally reporting analysis. So I think that kind of gives you the full cycle uh, or marketing, marketing cycle uh, and all the tools along the way. So I'd say that's hopefully, you feel the same way, quite comprehensive. Thanks, Ed. Uh, I'm sorry I bombarded you with all these questions during our lunch break, uh, but it was very useful and I can guarantee that our viewers found it useful as well. Yeah, is there anything else you'd like to say, Ed? Uh, I would like to, to, to turn the tables, turn the camera, so to speak, and ask you, what about um, video? What tools do you use? Well, uh, thanks for putting me on the spot like that. I would say all of the Adobe software would be essential for any creator. So whether it's Premiere Pro, After Effects, or even Photoshop, like stuff like that is essential. Then obviously something for feedback, whether it's just sending the link through Dropbox or even Google Drive. But now the rising popularity Frame.io for video feedback, that's the perfect tool. What else? And then project management. Yeah, the one that you mentioned, Notion, for example, is amazing for what it does. So I would just recommend that for it. Um, so is that, is that satisfactory for you? Or? <laughs> that's satisfactory, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And that's us done with our lunch break, so we need to get back to work. Is there anything else, any other tools that we forgot? I mean, the obvious one. Oh, yeah. The one everyone's talking about. Obviously, chat GPT and AI. Is that something that you're using in video at all? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Uh, when it comes to YouTube descriptions and titles, uh, I do prompt it in and just see what it would give me. Uh, but typically, I would still give my input in and just uh, edit it all. So it does make it a bit faster, but it still won't replace me in terms of all the titles and uh, descriptions. So with that out of the way, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to our channel for more weekly videos like this. It is quite a different concept than what we're used to. So if you liked it, leave us a comment so we would know your feedback. If you want to know how to get started in digital marketing, this is the video for you. Ed goes over everything you need to know, all the steps that you need to take. So go check it out here and I'll see you in the next one.